you are sitting surrounded by mutants. Every human carries on average 74 DNA alterations present in neither parent. These de novo mutations arise during the development of the egg or sperm that begin us. Most of the time, these genetic typos don't matter. However, sometimes they can hit a sensitive spot, like a gene important for brain function. Recently, the NMDA receptor has been found to be mutated in people with a range of neurodevelopmental disorders, such as autism and schizophrenia. Each dot on this receptor diagram is a mutation coloured by associated disorder. The NMDA receptor sends signals by allowing ions to flow into brain cells, but it's a very unusual ion channel. Its activation requires not just the binding of its neurochemical, but also a rise in voltage inside the brain cell. This is because normally the receptor pore is blocked by positively charged magnesium ions, which are only expelled when the brain cell is also positively charged. This requirement for not just A or B, but A and B, means that the receptor can link two inputs and means that we can form memories. The yellow circle marks the location of a mutation at the narrowest part of a pore, found in a person with epilepsy and intellectual disability. My PhD has asked, what are the functional consequences of this mutation? What are the steps from DNA to disorder? My first finding <coughs> is that the mutation significantly reduces magnesium block. In the normal receptor, the activating neurochemical, glutamate, <coughs> is, causes a large inward current which is virtually abolished by magnesium. However, <coughs> in the mutant receptor, magnesium causes minimal effect. And of course, losing magnesium block will impact on memory. The bottom right of the slide shows individual receptors opening and closing. You can see that much less current is flowing in the mutant receptor, less signal is getting through. <coughs> in summary, my PhD has shown that this single DNA alteration is enough to fundamentally alter crucial properties of the NMDA receptor, consistent with this mutation causing disease. The broader impact and challenge for the future is using this knowledge to develop personalized treatments for carriers of this and similar mutations.